Hey guys, YouTuber 100 here. All right, and here we go. Now I am finally gonna be giving my thoughts on Halloween ends. But yeah, so I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to finally talk about this movie. Like I told you guys that I was gonna talk about this movie during, uh, like my horror movie reviews. It was for the 13 Days of Halloween, and I didn't. And then in my last video, I told you that I was gonna see it tomorrow and make the video then, and I didn't. It's taken me like a week now to talk about it. Now, I apologize that it's taken so long. The reason that it's taken so long for me to actually go see it and make this review is because I just had like a like a family issue going on on right now, and so yeah, so it's kind of like been uh, keeping me from actually uh, going to actually uh, see this movie to make this video. Yeah, I know I really could have like watch this movie like on Peacock the whole time and uh, make the video for you guys. But yeah, like I've told you guys before, like I really do not like to do that. I still am like actually like a theater supporter. I still do go see the new releases in the theaters, even if they have been released on streaming service. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I really don't like to do that. Like these movies really are meant to be seen in the theater first. So yeah, so I really just, like, wanted to actually see this movie in the theater and not on Peacock, yeah? But yeah, I was finally able to go see this movie today, yeah? So yeah, and yeah, and yeah, and ever since this movie has been released, like, uh, it has kind of, uh, yeah, a lot of people have really kind of um, felt, um, they've been kind of disappointed with this movie, yeah, I mean, on Run to Me, who's, uh, this film has only had, uh, <coughs> a 40% audience score, yeah, and even audiences are, like, kind of split on it, too, yeah. The critic consensus for the movie is that Halloween ends, for now anyway, with a frequently, uh, befudding installment that's stabbed, slash, and beaten by a series of frustrating missed opportunities. Yeah. And the audience says, Halloween ends packs a few slasher films, but many fans will be disappointed by the way it concludes Michael Myers' gory saga. So yeah, so there's been a lot of people that have really felt um, disappointed with the film. And yeah, when I saw it, I guess I can understand why people really did uh, feel disappointed by it, because... Yeah, the film really is, like, a lot slower than uh, the previous uh, two films, like, with uh, the Halloween movie from 2018, and then Halloween Kills last year. <coughs> yeah, this one is, like, uh, it's a lot slower than uh, those two films, yeah? And, yeah, and if you, and, yeah, and I have talked about, like, the other two movies already. So, yeah, so if you want to hear my thoughts on what I thought of, like, the previous two films, I'll have uh, my videos giving my thoughts on those two down in the description if you want to watch them, yeah? And, yeah, and, like, anyway, yeah. And this film, like I said, it is, like, a lot slower than uh, the last two films. And, plus, yeah, the plot, it's not really as much of a connection with uh, the previous two films. Like, it really doesn't have that much. Like, it doesn't really, like, a pick up on uh the events from uh, the previous two films all that much yeah it really just seems to really be um like telling like something like totally different and yeah but but yeah we do like know that the the events of the first two films still have happened because they are mentioned but yeah it really doesn't have much of a connection to them so yeah so yeah, so I guess I can really understand, like, why people really did feel uh, disappointed with uh, this film. Because, yeah, it really just seemed to really be, like, uh, just totally different than, like, what a lot of people really expected. I mean, especially since this is really, like, the conclusion of uh, the whole uh, story. Like, yeah, this really is, like, the finale to everything. And, yeah, and there, there really just could have been, like, a lot done with this to really just, like, like have it really be, like, everything coming to an end, and they really just didn't do that. They really just gave it, like, a really just, like, kind of just standalone story that while it is, like, the, it does acknowledge the events from the first, from the previous two films, it really doesn't really have much of a continuation to them, and it really is just, like, telling, like, a totally different story. So, yeah, so I really do understand, like, uh, why people could really be frustrated with the film. Me, personally... How did I feel about it? Well, I actually did think that this film was alright. 
I mean, I do agree that this has been like a, this is the weakest one of the three new films. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the weakest one. Like I said, it is like much slower and stuff. And yeah, and yeah, and I guess I like, uh, I can see like some of the other problems that this movie does have also is like, for one, like this movie really doesn't have like a, that much of Michael Myers in it. Like it really doesn't really focus on anything between like Lori and Michael in uh, this film. In this film, like, the film really just seems to be focused on, like, a totally different character. Like, in the film, it really does, like, this film really does focus on, like, a a guy named Corey, yeah? And it shows that, like, after, like, what we get in the opening scene, he's, like, accused of uh, killing a child. Because, yeah, this film, like, it opens up with, like, uh, Corey babysitting a young boy. And then, yeah, then, like, uh, after he, like, ends up, like, accidentally causing, uh, the, uh, uh, boy to die after an accident, like, he is, like, accused of intentionally killing the boy, yeah, and so then, yeah, so, basically, like, in this film, like, he really is, like, a heckled on by a lot of people due to that, and, yeah, and he is really just, like, trying to, like, move on from it, because, like, it, it, it was an accident, and, only, like, he really does know what happened. But everybody is really, like, accusing him of, uh, uh, killing this boy. Yeah? So, yeah. And then, yeah, then throughout the film, it just, like, shows that, um, like, uh, he really just does have, like, all, like, he really is just, like, so frustrated with, like, everybody, like, thinking that, like, he did kill the boy. Yeah, he's just, uh, re- gets, like, really frustrated about everything. Then eventually he does, like, uh, meet, um, uh, Lori and Allison. And, yeah, and it shows how, like, he does, like, like, starts to have a relationship with Allison. And, yeah, but then, yeah, then, like, uh, after, like, he gets, like, uh, like, uh, attacked, he then, like, gets, a uh, like, uh, uh, dragged into, like, uh, a sewer, and then, like, it shows that, like, M- Michael has brought him there, but then, yeah, then it, like, shows that, like, all of a sudden, like, Corey, like, has, uh, this, uh, whole, like, uh, frustration thing going on and stuff, and then all of a sudden he, like, starts to kill people, like, uh, at one, like, it shows that, like, after he first leaves the sewer, he ends up, like, attacking, like, a homeless man and killing him, yeah, and then, yeah, then it just shows how, like, he just really just starts to, snap and like he's killing um other people as well so yeah so yeah this is just like really strange like we really don't get like really any follow-up on this like uh really like why uh cory's all of a sudden like starting to kill and it even shows at one point like how he like goes back down to the sewer and he like steals michael's mask and puts it on it's like he's like tr- pretending to be michael myers or something so yeah so it's really odd like there's not really like any explanation for this given in the movie like it like i don't know if like this is really like implying like if Corey's like like a, a descend an offspring from a michael myers if he's a spawn or whatever the case may be like if he is actually like related to michael at all but yeah it, it's just like really strange because yeah he's doing like this stuff and there's not really like a real explanation really given for why he's doing this and uh yeah, why he, like, seems to really want to, like, pretend to be Michael Myers. So, yeah, so, it's just really strange. So, yeah. So, yeah, so I guess, like, I can really, like, see, like, why people really felt disappointed by that. Because, yeah, nothing really does really come out of it. And there's not really, like, any explanation given for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess, like, it is kind of, like, interesting this thing, like, to see, like, something like this being done. But yeah, but nothing really does come out of it. So yeah, so it really does seem to just be like very useless and pointless just to have in this film. So yeah, so I guess it does make sense as to like why people really do like feel um disappointed with like how this film did turn out because yeah, it, nothing really does come out of like what it does and it really doesn't really like do so. so like really like really like have this like really be like a really like big conclusion to like the entire story since the original film yeah so yeah so it is pointless but i wasn't really like 
bored really watching this like yeah it wasn't i wasn't really like bored watching it like i was still like interested in like what this film really was doing even if nothing was really coming out of it and if like like if there really was an explanation given for it yeah yeah so yeah so other things going on like in this film like uh it is set like about like three years after the events of the last film yeah, and it shows how, like, Lori is, like, writing a memoir, and while she's not really, like, living the life that she did live, like, in the previous two films, like, how she really is, like, kind of just, like, like, uh, locking herself, like, away from, uh, Michael and everything, like, really, like, uh, like, trying to, like, really have, like, real safety precautions, it shows that, like, now she's really, like, trying to live, like, a, uh, regular life, now living with, uh, Allison, and it shows that Allison is now a nurse and working for, like, some, uh, hosp working for, like, a hospital, yeah, yeah, and it shows that, like, how, like, like I said, in this film, it shows how, like, Corey and Allison meet and form a relationship, yeah, yeah, and it shows that, like, at the, uh, hospital that, uh, uh, Allison works at, it shows that, like, her boss is, like, like, really mistreating her a lot, but yeah, and it shows that, like, at one point, how, uh, uh, as Allison is, like, uh, offered, like, uh, well, as, like, there's a promotion, the boss is offering a promotion, the boss really just ends up, uh, uh, handing it over to, um, um, a nurse that is actually having an affair with the doctor, just passing over Allison, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so it shows how, like, Allison is just, like, very, like, very, like, upset with, like, how she's being treated at, at, at the office. So, yeah, so it's very similar to, like, how, what's going on with Corey in the film. How, like, everybody is just, like, heckling him over the death of the boy from the beginning of the film. Um, yeah, yeah. And like I said, in this film, like, we really don't see, like, that much of Michael in the film. Like, it just shows, like, how he does actually, like, uh, drag, uh... Corey to the sewers, yeah, and it really just kind of, like, shows, like, how he's just, like, he's not really, like, shown clearly on camera, just kind of, like, like, how, like, it just kind of, like, shows him for a second and cuts away and stuff, so, yeah, so it really kind of, like, makes it, really like, unclear if he's actually there or not, but, yeah, it is, like, eventually revealed that he is, yeah, yeah, and like I said, Corey's going around, like, killing people, at one point, um, as a, like, a the doctor and the nurse from uh, Allison's uh, work is are like having a date. It shows that at one point, uh, like a uh, like a uh, Corey shows up at the house and uh, killed the doctor, and then it showed Michael then appearing behind the nurse and killing her. Yeah. So yeah, and yeah, and it shows how like Corey has like is going around like killing some other people. Like uh, it shows how like he really does have a plans to really uh, leave Haddonfield with Allison, and it shows how like Corey and Allison are kind of like blaming Lori for like the stuff that has happened with Michael. So yeah, especially like with Allison, with like her losing like her friends and her parents and all this stuff, she really does blame it on Lori. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. Then it shows like how uh, on Halloween night, uh, Corey like ended up uh, uh stealing a Michael Myers, his mask. Like I said. And then yeah. Then as a uh, Allison was planning to leave with Corey, like uh, like uh, Corey then just like went on a rampage. Like he murdered like some bullies that jumped him at one point in the film, um, luring them to like a salvage yard. And it showed like. Like, he, like, had this, like, a uh, big truck, and he, like, ran over one of them, and then, yeah, then he just, like, killed them, like, with a knife, and then there, there was, like, one of the, there was one girl that was, like, trapped underneath, like, the fencing, and he just stomped her to death. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so, some of the deaths in this film are, re <laughs> like, pretty brutal. Like, there was this, there was this one point where, like, uh, like, uh, Corey, there was, like, this DJ that did a taunt of Corey at one point in the film, and then he goes to the, the radio station that the DJ's at, and he really kills him, and really pretty violently, like, like, he really just, like, just, like, uh, beats him down and, like, stabs him and stuff, and then at one point he actually did slice, uh, like, he actually did cut, uh, the, uh, DJ's tongue, so, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, then, uh, as he, like, uh, went to, uh, Lori's house to try to kill her, Lori then, like, uh, like, uh, 
fake attempted suicide to lure Corey to her. And then, yeah, then she, like, shot him down the stairs. Like, like Corey, like, had told Lori before that, like, if he can't have Allison, no one will. And so then, Corey then just ended up, like, a, like a stabbing himself in the neck, seemingly killing him. And then, like, just to, to like, frame Lori for or his death, like, make it seem like she killed him. And then Allison then just, like, saw the scene of, like, Lori holding the knife and <clears throat> Corey's just, uh, like, seemingly dead. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, then Allison then just, like, stormed away. And then, yeah, then... <coughs> <coughs> then eventually, then, the real Michael then appeared. Then, yeah, then he just ended up killing Corey, snapping his neck. Yeah. And then we had the the fight between uh, Michael and Lori. I was like, oh, Michael chased Lori into her kitchen. And then, yeah, then as a he was attempting to like uh, try to uh, put uh, Lori's hand down the garbage disposal, but Lori was fighting back. And then she eventually then uh, then then had some knives, and then she like a uh, pinned Michael to the island, and even like a uh, like just uh, pierced his uh, hands with knives. Like she actually like. Like, use knives to, like, basically crucify him. So, <laughs> interesting that I'm seeing this because, yeah, I just did watch uh, Carrie recently. And after, like, seeing what Carrie did to her mother, kind of interesting to, like, see something similar being done here. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, then, eventually, then, uh, and, uh, and, uh, Lori then just, like, ended up, like, uh, knocking Michael out, and then removed his mask, and then just ended up, uh, slicing his throat, yeah, then, yeah, then, Allison then arrived, and then, yeah, then, like, Michael then, like, tried to fight back some more, but then, Allison then just subdued Michael, subdued Michael, and then, then, yeah, then finally killed him, and sliced his wrist, so, yeah, so, I don't know, just, Michael's death seemed, like, very anticlimactic, like, it just seemed like he died so easily in this film. Like, I mean, couldn't they have done something more? Like, have something, like, be, like, really, really brutal? Like, have it, like, be, like, something where, like, Michael is just, like, beaten down the whole thing. And it really takes a lot to really kill him. I mean, especially since, like, all these movies, like, we've seen, like, all the stuff that he's, like, lived through. And just seeing, like, how he dies here, it just seems that he dies so easily. So I really did think that they really could have, like, done a lot more. Make it, like... The death more brutal, like, have him, like, really get, like, just beaten the hell out of, like, just beaten to a pulp, like, have blood everywhere, and just, like, I mean, something like have, uh, Lori and, uh, Allison, like, really do, like, some really brutal stuff to him, like, beat his skull in, and, like, uh, like, uh, tear his, like, like, dismember him, or, like, do, just, just do stuff, like, really, very, some stuff that's, like, really, really brutal to him, where he'll slowly die. But it just seems like he just dies so easily here. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. Then eventually the police then arrived on scene and then just found Michael's uh, dead body. And so then, as Michael was pronounced dead, uh, Lori and Allison just said that he's not dead enough. So then, <clears throat> they tied Michael to, like, the roof of the car. And then, like, the police escorted them to the salvage yard. And even, like, a lot of the residents of Hanfield followed in procession. Yeah, so, kind of similar to, like, what happened in, like, the previous film in Killsaw. Like, pretty much the entire town was all together to try to stop Michael. Yeah, kind of similar here. Like, with everybody really joining in to really, like, see him finally be finished off. Yeah. Then, yeah, then once they arrived at the salvage yard, they then just, like, uh, dumped Mike body and disposed of it in an industrial shredder so yeah so they really did make sure that he was killed here and you just like saw his body just like totally being shredded yeah so yeah so kind of like something that's like pretty brutal for somebody to really be killed like that or just finally put an end to yeah yeah so yeah and then yeah then the movie then just ended showing how like a uh, Allison and Lori then reconciled and showed Allison leaving Hanfield and uh, Lori then like uh, rediscovered like romance with Deputy Hawkins and they like uh, then uh, like uh, rekindled like a relationship with each other. Yeah. Yeah. And then the last thing you just see is just them uh, just sitting on the porch and you just see like the inside of Lori's house totally empty. So, yeah, so they really did actually, like, give this a legitimate ending. They didn't, like, give a jump scare, like, showing, like, how, 
like Michael or uh, Corey were like still like alive and they would be back. Yeah, they actually really did like have this be like a legit ending right here. So yeah, so I guess like this really does signify that this really is like the conclusion to the Halloween saga. So yeah, like I said, like I I do understand people's disappointment with the film. Like it really doesn't really do a whole lot to really like uh, have a continuation or a connection with the previous two films. Films, yeah, and what they do really does seem like pretty useless, and nothing really does come out of it. But yeah, like I said, I really wasn't really bored watching it. Like I was at least like I was interested in what they were doing, even if it was useless. Like, yeah, I mean, this really could have been done like a lot worse, and it could have been like really boring, and it wasn't. They actually did at least make it interesting to see, at least for me. Like I did think that it was interesting, and yeah, like I said. I do, while I do agree that this is like the weakest film of the three new Halloween films, yeah, I still did think it was all right. And yeah, I don't really think it really is as bad as some people are really making it out to be. So yeah, so, and at least this film did at least uh, serve its purpose. Like, it really did finally like bring the whole uh, story to a close, yeah? But yeah, with, either way, whether or not people liked it, I think we can all agree that this is at least a much better, uh, finale to the series than uh, Resurrection was 20 years ago. Gosh, I mean, it's really been 20 years. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I talked about, like, Resurrection before, like, how that was just a horrible movie. And plus, yeah, and it, and it didn't even, like, totally, like, uh, really, like, like uh, conclude the series. Like, the, more was, like, there was supposed to be, like, another film made originally planned after that. Yeah, it and even like with the way Resurrection ended with Michael opening his eyes after he seemed to be killed, yeah. But yeah, here like they finally really did uh kill off Michael. And yeah, and this really has really like yeah, concluded the uh story altogether. So yeah, so uh, yeah, I think we can definitely like agree that this was at least a better finale to the story than a Resurrection was. So yeah, so I think you think like like it is safe to say that like uh, th these three new films have been like a better continuation from uh, the original film than like all the original sequels were because yeah all, really like the the sequels like the all the original sequels none of them were really that good I mean two was like uh, good I guess and there were a couple okay ones but yeah none of them really were like really all that good especially ones like uh uh five uh six and resurrection yeah those ones were pretty bad and yeah and three we don't speak of yeah so yeah so i think it is safe to say that these three new films did at least like redeem the franchise and yeah and these are like a much better like follow-up uh, story to the original film than the original sequels so yeah so i think we can at least say that these three films did at least like do what we wanted them to do and they did like redeem the franchise so, yeah, so due to that, like, I guess I would say that this film is at least worth watching, despite the fact that it really doesn't have, like, any sort of, uh, well, I shouldn't really say any sort of, but not really that much continuation from uh, the uh, previous two films. And it, it is, like, a kind of like a useless what they really do with this film. It is at least worth watching because it does at least uh, really, like, bring the whole story to a close. Yeah, so I guess, like, it did at least serve its purpose for that. So, I guess it, it is at least worth a watch. I mean, I can't really guarantee that you will like the film. You may end up being disappointed with what it does. But I guess it is at least worth a watch once just to really uh, finally see the story come to a close and finally see the saga end. So, yeah. So, I guess it is worth watching for that sake. All right. So, yeah. So, I guess due to that, I would give the film a pass. All right. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I guess that's the best way I can put it. Alright, so those are my thoughts on Halloween Ends. So I hope you guys did enjoy what I did have to say about uh, this film. Yeah, and once again, I really do apologize for taking this long to really talk about the film. But yeah, like I said at the beginning of this uh, video, just like had like some issues that were preventing me from going to see the film. Yeah, but yeah, I am glad that I did have finally gotten the opportunity to see it and I was able to finally make this video for you guys. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I did have to say about this. Alright, so yeah, so I guess this does it for... 
to this video. All right, so those are my thoughts on Halloween ends. So I hope you guys did enjoy, yeah. And yeah, and now that I've finally gotten this done, now, like, I can talk about other stuff. There are, like, some of some other subjects I really do, like, want to talk about. So, yeah, so, yeah, so coming up, I'll have videos talking about some, like, other stuff coming up that I have been wanting to talk about as of late. All right, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.